I'm David Haig from Creative Content. In CCTV News Today, here are all the major stories for the week ending July 31st, 2024. <laughs> Vegas Pro version 22 has been released and weighs in with some dramatic updates, not the least being of course AI. The Vegas team says it carefully chose what AI to include and the new functionality gives the term a better meaning, assistance with intention. New AI features include text-based editing, dehaze, sharpen and smoothen, and auto reframe. The last is of special importance as it intelligently reframes a video for different social media platforms where, for example, a widescreen format needs to be changed to a square one. Other features include a beat and tempo detection system and multicam audio sync. Vegas Pro 22 is available on either subscription or via a perpetual license and a trial can be downloaded from this web address. Blackmagic Camera for Android has been updated with new features, but sadly, it's still only available on a limited number of phones from Samsung, Xiaomi, and Google. Adding HDMI monitoring, pull transition controls, and Blackmagic Cloud support, the update is free from the Google Play Store. Hollyland has announced the Pyro 7, a wireless video monitor that combines transmit, receive, and a seven inch monitor screen in one compact, lightweight, and robust device. According to Hollyland, you get a 400 meter range with 40 minutes of SD card recording, SDI, HDMI, Loopad, RTMP streaming, 1200 nits brightness, and support for one transmitter and four receivers. Pricing starts at 549 US dollars from Amazon. If you are, or an impending Nikon user, you'll want to pop along to 65 York Street in Sydney over the next five days for the first ever Nikon Live experience in Australia. Nikon Live will showcase the extensive product lineup available, allowing visitors to see and test equipment while also serving as a hub for photography and videography education with inspiration from experts. Nikon says the event will host a series of free and ticketed hands-on workshops and sessions led by top creatives in the industry. Opening hours vary from day to day and all the details are on the Creative Content website at this address. According to research from US company ProdPro, COVID was a major contributor to a major downturn in Hollywood TV and film production. But additionally, the Disney-Fox merger also helped, as has the threat of other potential mergers, such as Warner Brothers and Amazon. Paramount's woes also did their bit causing the alarm bells to start sounding. And although films such as Barbie and Oppenheimer invigorated the industry, apparently audience numbers show most still prefer streaming at home to the theatre experience. In contrast, camera sales have hit their highest point in more than three years, with both interchangeable lens and compact cameras having a resurgence. In the process, the venerable DSLR is now apparently a dying breed, versus new mirrorless models, and the release and popularity of the Canon R series is seen to have accelerated that trend. And that is all the major news for this week ending July 31st, 2024. To be notified of new broadcasts, simply subscribe to this channel. Don't forget my online tutorials too. They are all free and available titles can be seen at this web address. Once again, I'm David from Creative Content. If you have any news or press releases you'd like shared, please contact me on the email address below or go to the Creative Content website. Thanks for watching. Oh, one more thing. If you use a GoPro or other action type camera, I think you'll like my free 60 page e-magazine. You can download it from my website at www.creativecontent.au and select the option in the menu bar.